Williams from Gold Property and welcome to the June edition of the Stollington Report. Well, it's been a busy three months and we've seen some big changes from interest rate rises, changes in government, what effects have they had on the market? Well, I'm pleased to say so far we haven't seen any huge impacts on what's happening out there in the market. We don't have the frenetic bidding and buying that we had in late 2021, but it was unsustainable. And um, we're coming back to a more normal market. And whilst the media is out there saying that things are fairly dire, we, we've seen some changes in the market, certainly more in the bottom end of the market, but not as much as what people might expect. There's been some graduate results recently as well. Um, some of the standouts, 802 Orong Road in Turak, Turak for a new uh, contemporary home, which was a standout at uh, $38 million or, there, or, or thereabouts. Um, another great result at Nine Parkside Street in Malvern, which sold in the vicinity of $9 million, which is a great price for that pocket there near Cabrini. Uh, there was a great sale out on the gas point at 62 Central Park Road, which sold in the high fives uh, for a classic uh, gas coin estate home. Um, and some other results, a great result at 131 uh, Walsh Street, which was for an apartment, uh, 7.2 million in that vicinity. Uh, there was also a great result at 43 Early Avenue in Paran, uh, which was a double fronted renovated home which sold in the vicinity of four and a half million dollars. So a really solid result for that Paran market. Uh, as I mentioned before, the apartment market has suffered a little bit more um, with the recent activity than the, the housing market, and that's reflected in the capital gains that we've seen over the past three months. Um, Turak has seen a negative 1.9% uh, uh, increase in houses, or decrease I should say, um, with a 9.09%, so a significant difference in, uh, in uh, capital growth or the lack thereof. Um, Armadale saw 1.34% uh, drop in houses and a 3.31% drop in apartments. Um, Malvern saw uh, only a 0.68% drop in houses, but a 1.38% uh, drop in apartments. Um, Malvern East they actually saw an increase of 1.12% over the last quarter in housing, uh, but a negative 1.77% drop in units. Uh, Paran saw a negative 2.09% increase in the housing market and only a 0.74 drop in their apartments. Um, South Yarra only saw a 0.27% drop in their housing and there was nothing to talk of in the apartments, so things haven't changed there a lot. Um, what we're seeing is um, that things are quieting down as we're headed into the winter market, which is fairly standard. It's been a little quieter due to uh, people holding back, waiting recently to see what would happen with the election. We've got that out of the way. We're gearing up for a busy spring, um, but if you'd like any advice in that regard, I would suggest if you're thinking of selling or making that move this year, do it sooner than later because it will be a busy um, spring selling season this year, um, later on as we get towards the end of the year.